We have a system that largely operates on trust, making it almost impossible to detect acts like personation. Yet critics of the bill take this failure to detect an undetectable crime as proof that it doesn't exist. Quoting statistics is pointless. Any of us can have a guess at its prevalence, but having spoken directly to people who were denied a ballot paper because they were marked as already having voted when they clearly had not, I take my own view. Members may say that there's not a problem, opposite may say there's not a problem, but leaving our electoral system wide open to abuse is a problem in itself. And that's what their argument misses completely. When most members of the public realise how unchecked uh, and uncheckable our system is, they're shocked. This applies doubly to new arrivals in our country. They've often seen electoral malpractice for themselves in other parts of the world. It was notable that during the government's photo ID trials, confidence in our electoral system increased the most among ethnic minority voters. They are, the, they are at the most risk of having their votes stolen and are most grateful for safeguards to protect it. Let's just turn very quickly to the issue of postal votes. Irregular, irregularities are easier to spot, but they can also occur at much greater scale. In 2008, three Peterborough Labour candidates were convicted of electoral fraud offences. They were diverting postal ballots to their addresses they could access, collecting them and fabricating votes. The main protagonist received a 15-month sentence. And now, this was postal vote halving with a capital H, but there are other forms that have not been addressed. And the same activists, the same activists, every time we have an election, are the ones that are seen leading postal vote teams still now, photographed leading postal vote teams, a picture telling at polling stations, and even turn up to um, recent elections. My account in 2019, the same people were there. This is an issue in Peterborough. We can't bury our heads in the sand. And for that reason, this is a long-awaited bill, and it will clean up democracy and restore faith in the electoral system in my city.